Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Angela Homier. I'm a fashion photographer based in Ottawa, Canada. And today I'm going to share with you what I carry in my camera bag. So the bag itself is a low pro bag. I got it secondhand from my uncle and I absolutely love it. I, I have used it since I've got it and I never thought to get a second one. I probably will when I travel to get something more care, you could carry more easily. But I love this lens, uh, this bag because you could put so much stuff in it. So let's open it up. You have to lay it flat so things don't fall out. Right now, it's not going to be in here, but I usually have my camera in my bag. I'm using it to take this video. So it's a Canon 5D Mark IV, and I have the battery grip attached. And it, the lens I'm using is a 24 to 105 f4, and that's a kit lens that I got for my secondary camera, Canon 60. And I have this in my bag just because in case something happens to my camera while I'm shooting, you don't always have the option to reschedule shoot because of things that go wrong, so it's best to be, be as best prepared as you can. I also use this when I do weddings because two cameras and two lenses is better than one because sometimes you don't have the time to switch the lenses. Next, I have my 70-200 f2.8. And I use this a lot in studio, mainly because winters are super long here and it's a one way to be creative. I use this mainly for beauty portraits. I love beauty portraits, I love getting really creative makeup or really beautiful makeup and taking pictures super close up. It's really handy for makeup artists and it's really creative and fun thing to do. You could also use this for weddings, fashion shows, events. It's a great lens, it has a lot of purposes, but my main purpose right now is beauty photography. <laughs> Next I have the Nifty 50. It is the 1.2 lens uh, aperture and I got it second hand from Henry's. It's a camera store in Ottawa, in Canada, world, uh, Canada wide. And it is such a beautiful lens. I use it for boudoir a lot when I use natural light because you could shoot this wide open to get a really soft feel and it gives you the bokeh effect. I also use it for fashion photography outside. It's a really good go-to and I try to use it as much as I, poss I, I can in the summer because I just love it. It just gives such a beautiful look. And then I have a wide angle lens. I bought this in Vegas when I turned 30 <laughs> and it was so such a good lens. It's perfect for landscape, but now I use it for product photography, but believe it or not, <laughs> I also use this for group photography. In weddings, a lot of times the bride will ask you to take pictures of everyone in who showed up to the wedding. Not even the bridal party, everyone, so you're going to need a wide-angle lens for that too. But there's more purposes than that, but landscape's also a big one. And then I have my flash. <laughs> it is the Godox. TT685C, C is for Canon, and I opted to get the Magma grip and this attachment, the diffuser, and I absolutely love it. I use this all the time when I'm in places where it's low lit, like when I do product photography in basements, I will definitely use this, and weddings when you're taking pictures in the reception room and events, it's definitely a, a must to have. And then I have, that's pretty much all like the main gear I have. But now I have a little bit, little extra stuff. So in this pocket, I'll just put this stuff here. I have a memory card holder. It holds eight SD cards and it's weatherproof, crush proof, and secure. So your SD cards are pretty secure. But the problem is when you open it, these guys usually fall off and fall over the place. So because I know that I'm always careful when I open it because they can fall out. But other than that, it's a really good little card holder. I also have um, a compact flash card. I only have one because these are fairly expensive, but that's okay. And I have this little thing I found on Amazon and it is a triangle prism. And a lot of people use it because it refracts light and gives reflections. Um, it gives those spots of light in the photo and it makes it really artistic. I have not used it yet, but I plan to use it sometime in the summer once we get out of self-isolation. And this little guy is a shoe that you put your, your flash on. Actually, you need a trigger and a, a receiver for it, but that's okay. 
It's just so that you could put your camera, use it off flash and maybe put it to the side. So those are the things I have in here. I'll zip this up so that nothing falls out. And I also have two batteries, two extra batteries, because there's two right now in my camera. I usually have two in the camera and two on the side. Just in case I'm doing a long day, I have battery chargers for a double A. When I use the flash, I'll bring this along. If I'm not using flash, this won't be coming with me. Gaffing tape is a great thing for photographers. It's non-stick and pretty durable tape. So you could tape this to your wires to the floor or whatever you need to tape and not have to worry about the sticky residue being left behind. And it's very easy to cut with your hands without needing scissors. I have these little scissors that I got from Amazon. I bought them because a lot of times you're on set and you have things that you have to cut, like a strand of thread that's coming off someone's clothes. It's easier to cut it ahead of time than to cut it and, po and edit through post-processing. I try to avoid as much editing as I can because I normally already do enough editing. Also, sometimes, you know those plastic containers that are ridiculously hard to open? and you can only open it with scissors, well, these are good. Also, if your model has bangs, you can give them a little trim. <laughs> Probably shouldn't do that. Yeah, there's a lot of purposes for scissors. I guess it's straightforward. And there's a little Amazon things. They're not the easiest to close, but there you go. They're super small. I have another battery charger. I usually have two, but I'm using one right now. Double-sided tape, which is also really good to have for fashion photography when a clothing sticking up when it shouldn't have, you can tape it down instead of doing editing. I have a bag of batteries. Double A batteries. The bag itself was from the dollar store. It's a pencil case. That's original purpose, but now it is a battery bag. My, my uh, business card and business card holder. I have a bunch of them in there just because when I shoot, I often get asked for a business card and I'd hate to not have one on me because you could lose business that way. All right. And then I have some lens cleaning and camera cleaning stuff. I'll grab it all up. Okay. So the first thing I have is a Sigma lens, deluxe lens cleaning kit. And it comes with a little spray and a little towelette. I have a lens pen, which has a little tip for you to clean the lens itself and then a little brush on the other side and then I have the digi blower that's for when you have dust or hair inside your camera and you need to get it out you do not use your mouth that is a big no-no your mouth has liquid and that is very bad for your camera so use this guy and then I have these clips clips can be used for many things but my main purpose is holding clothes in place because sometimes when, you use, um, when you're using a fashion designer, they have a generic size and it doesn't always fit the model. It's usually a little bigger for them, so we could clip it to make it look like it was their size. It was meant to be their size. And then I have feminine products because I work with a lot of females. And I have t tissue paper. I bet this is very high in demand now with the <laughs> toilet paper running out. I keep it in my bag because... Things can get messy easily, and it's good to have. And if you need toilet paper, <laughs> hopefully not. And I think that's it. Nope, there's still one more thing in here. I carry an extra SD card on me, unopened, in my bag at all times, just in case I forget my little container that has all my memory cards in. It could happen. I could leave it on my desk and forget. I know in the back of my head, no matter what, I have one of these in my bag. Or if you're shooting with another photographer and they run out of space on one of their cards or they need one, you could save the day. So that's pretty much it. I think, yeah, that's it. Well, thank you for watching. I know that's a lot of stuff. And you could take and pick what you think is valuable for your craft. But this is what I carry in my bag at the moment. I'm sure next year there'll be more. Thank you for watching and please subscribe. This is my very first video, so I'm super excited to post it and share more content. I plan to share as much knowledge and uh, photography related stuff as I can, all that I know, and I'm going to continue to learn more and share it with you. 
Thank you for watching and please give this video a thumbs up. See you next time.